Yeah, I know we just released INAV 7.1, but guess what? In roughly half a year, you will get INAV 8 that will give you a pretty cool features connected with the ground station mode and telemetry. First of all, INAV configurator will get something called the ground station mode. Whenever INAV configurator will detect that you are flying with your UAV, it will automatically switch to a dedicated mode that will concentrate on showing position of your UAV on the map and showing you some of the basic telemetry like i don't know altitude voltage gps coordinates etc this part is even already available in the development version of the inav configurator 8 so far only with the support of the ltm telemetry protocol if you equip your inav uav with any transparent wireless serial link like for example those old seek radios known from the ardu pilot or for example the Express RLS airport and select the LTM telemetry on the port tab in INAV, you will get the ground station mode. Bear in mind what you see right now is the very early development build. Some of the things are not yet working, some of the things are not yet implemented, but as you can see in the video, it kind of does what it's supposed to be doing. And if everything goes according to the plan, it will get better with time. Second of all, currently I'm expecting experimenting with the Express LRS Airport. What's the Express LRS Airport? Well, it's the transparent wireless serial connection made with the Express LRS compatible hardware. Not the only serial transparent link you can do with this hardware, but today only about the Express LRS Airport. If you flash Express LRS 3.3 to both your transmitter and the receiver and enable the Airport mode in both of the devices, you just have yourself a serial wireless link. It's not perfect, it's not very fast, it's known to be well hanging from time to time, but for the experimental purposes so far it's working a Okay, of course, it's the secondary link. That means your UAV has to have two receivers. One for the normal RC connection and the second only for the airport. And it's highly advised that they are working on the different frequencies. Like the setup I have, the normal RC link is based on the 2.4 GHz, while the airport that I have installed on my Cine lifter is on the 900 MHz. Like I mentioned, there are two problems. First problem is rather something that we will not be able to really skip because there is just so much data you can put on the wireless link. On the 900 megahertz hardware you can only go approximately 4800 bots while of course on the 2.4 gigahertz you can have 9600 so it's not really the fastest and if you want to have full access over the kilometers of the distance well most probably it will not really work but with the correct lightweight telemetry protocol like the LTM I just mentioned it's at least doable and second of all well there are the problems with the link stability if you play too much with the link if something bad happens during the flight the Express LRS airport is known to just break the connection and then you cannot restore it in the air you have to power cycle the transmitter and the receiver which sucks and rather you will not be able to do it over 10 kilometers range when you just flew somewhere very 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 far away but only for the telemetry purposes i suppose it's fine by the way the express lrs guys are working on something better but this is not official yet so we will not be even discussing that part at all so far so good inaf 8 will look pretty pretty cool here's the next video you should watch in the meantime this was the fpv university i'm pavel spychalski thank you very much for watching and like always happy flying